Bonjour, Tinker Nerds. This is the common show for cheap ways to boost your own Wi-Fi. Because who wants to spend money on those things, am I right? Click here if you haven't seen the original video, and once you have graciously watched it in its entirety and politely come back here for the continuation of this saga, let's see what comments you guys had to say. Hi, Mr. Tinkernut Guy. Can you put this comment on the comment show for absolutely no reason? To maintain professional integrity, I cannot just include a comment for no reason. Suffice it to say that the reason I'm including this comment is because I'm using it as a reason to explain why I need a reason to omit comments that have no reason. I can restore my firmware if something goes wrong. You should be able to. At least I was able to restore mine. On the DDWRT installation page, it should contain a link to the router's original firmware. And then you can install it using the same method that you use to install the DDWRT firmware. Is there an alternative to DDWRT? If you don't see your router listed in the DDWRT database, you could also check out the OpenWRT initiative or the Tomato initiative. Both of these are often considered DDWRT alternatives. What do those DB numbers actually mean? I think I'm going to let Dan fill this one. Decibel milliwatts, commonly written as DBM, is the unit used to measure wireless signals, not just routers. It's the power ratio of the decibel reference to one milliwatt. The closer the number gets to zero, the stronger the signal. Generally, anything negative 70 or lower is considered weak in terms of Wi-Fi. Thanks, Dan. You, sir, have earned yourself the Tinkernut Excellence in Commenting Award. Don't spend it on one place. Seriously. You forgot to say in some countries using some Wi-Fi channels are illegal, like 12, 13, and 14 in the U.S. That's a very good point. So, in the video description, I've included a link to a Wikipedia article regarding Wi-Fi channels. It states that channels 12 and 13 can be used with low-power Wi-Fi antennas, but the channel 14 is outlawed in most areas of the world. So, be sure to read that article before you tinker around with your customizations. I have a Linksys EA4500, and the closest supported version I could find was a Linksys E4200. Should I still try? I would say no. Firmware is very, very specific to your router model number, and if it differs even slightly, you could risk really screwing up or even bricking your router. Just a word of caution. Or just buy a Wi-Fi booster. Well, that is another option. And along that same vein, next week I'll be showing you guys how to turn a spare router into a Wi-Fi booster or a Wi-Fi bridge. That'll be over on my Tinkernut Remix channel. All right, guys, thanks very much for all the comments. And if you'd like to support me, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, donate, or become a patron. And as always, for more, go to Tinkernut.com.